in the previous example, we've been working with variables. Now we're going to try and create uh, a coding to choose random numbers. We can see that coding right here. So in our X position, you're going to see the code is random number. We got the camel case right there. Parentheses. And then we're going to choose a random number here from 0 to 400 is the minimum and the maximum. So as we run this, we're going to see that X position changes every time it's run. Uh, because the computer generates that random number. So as we go on then, what we're being asked to do here is we have a random number up being generated on the X. We want to do the same thing on the Y. Now again, you could use those same blocks and drag it in, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste that code. Uh, I'm going to show you maybe down to 300, so from 0 to 300 on the uh, Y, 0 to 400 on the X. And now we can see that our circle randomly generates an XY location each time the program is run. So here, if we run this, we can see that our eye size is always 27. Uh, both of our eye sizes here are uh, width and the height of it are using this variable here. So if I come up here and I use my random number, and let's say my eye size can vary anywhere from 5 to 50. So every time this program is generated, it's going to choose a number from 5 to 50, and anywhere the variable is being, going to be, is being called, it's going to display that number. So we can see the eyes here are changing size based on that random number that is being assigned. So here we can see we have uh, a single variable, which is our petal size. We're changing the petal size uh, variable twice. Here it equals 30, here it equals 60. But again, I'm going to use that random number. Come here and generate my random number. And I don't know, we'll go from 30 to 90. Oh, 30 to 90. And I'm going to come down here to my random and do my random petal size. And on this one, let's go something smaller. Let's go from 10 to 30 on our petal size. Now you're going to see every time we generate, we're getting different size petals between those ranges. Uh, this 10 to 30 range for this is probably a little small, so I would probably do 30 to, let's do 130. And again, we can see those different petal sizes, and that would be a little large for what we're trying to accomplish here. So as we go to bubble six, you're going to choose one to do either A or B and uh, follow uh, the directions to, in using the random numbers. And then your assessment on this one is in bubble seven. It's basically asking you to create this image here. So we have some more circles to create. And every time you generate it, it's going to cause this rainbow snake to appear like it's slithering. And um, we're going to use this random generation later when we talk about some animation.